Hello everybody, and a couple of weeks ago I posted a video on YouTube uh, regarding the usage of serial ports in Java on the BeagleBone, and um, well, I got kind of excited with it and I wanted to expand a little bit this usage because the BeagleBone um, is quite a powerful machine. Um, not uh, getting into all the details because I believe you're already familiar with it. The point is that last time I was able to use this USB port visible here um, to connect a device uh, uh, via um, a USB to serial converter, which is cool. It worked. Uh, I was happy with it. However, you see here you have a number of uh, different connections and uh, uh, amongst those uh, connections, you can actually uh, get a chance to uh, six, actually five uh, different serial ports. Uh, which is even better. Um, problem is uh, when I tried to play with them, something didn't work well and I had to spend a little bit of time to, to figure it out. Uh, so I thought it was a good idea to, to share uh, these findings with you. So may, I might spare you some, uh, some time uh, if you want to achieve the same thing. So basically, um, I believe you are already familiar with the fact that uh, those connections here, they are somehow connected to the pin of the microprocessor of the board and they need to be configured with a, a multiplexer. That was the first thing. So I created a very simple Java um, class to set the, the pins. So I'm not getting into the detail of this because uh, it's described, uh, there's quite a lot of information already available on the web. So basically you need to specify that a specific pin I'm going to use for the example, uh, the um, serial, uh, uh, the, the UART2 basically, which uses according to the manual, let's see here, this is uh, from the user manual, it uses uh, pin 21 and 22 of the uh, P9 header, okay, the expansion header, which basically it is... Uh, uh, this one here, okay? So basically what I do is uh, I set first uh, uh, the pins uh, there <coughs> in the correct way and then I try to open the, the serial port. Uh, port. It didn't work. Um, the reason is that I'm using um, an Angstrom uh, uh, Linux distribution and uh, uh, it recognizes the, the serial ports, the UARTs, as uh, you see with those uh, kind of weird names, uh, they, it calls them uh, uh, TTY0025 <coughs> and uh, they're not uh, recognized automatically by the RXDX driver. So this is where you have to, to play a little bit, it's just a matter of configuration I discovered. So mm, to achieve this configuration, what you need to do is uh, um, to create a file, this file here, and write this simple line. So this file um, and this line is a property file actually, it's just used to specify to list the available serial ports. So basically if the driver is not able to detect them automatically, then because they're not with a standard name, let's say, then you can specify them th there and uh, just separate them with, um, uh, with a separator like this, okay? And uh, this is uh, uh, described, uh, if you're familiar with the source code of the driver, this is described uh, in, this in this method here. Uh, this is the version uh, from the CVS, which I suggest you to use. It should work also with the other one, but I think the code here is a bit better. So what I did is, uh, this time, I wanted to use one of those internal serial ports, the TTL ports, if you want, without uh, connecting my device to the um, USB. So <clears throat> this is the kind of connection that I have now. You see, this is my Beagle board. This is the P9 header. Uh, this one is transmission. The other one is receive. I can't remember which is which. And this is device, the device that I'm using for this uh, experiment. It's a Roving Networks uh, RNXV um, device, uh, which has um, uh, a UART. It's extremely important. Be careful. Uh, you need to use a device that has a 3.3 volts uh, UART. Uh, the manual 
uh, specifically says not to connect uh, uh, 5 volts or whatever else uh, uh, you are. So you can actually burn your board. I, I don't think you want that. Uh, this one is a 3.3 volts. Be careful if you want to connect an Arduino or another mm, device, you will have to add uh, um, a logic converter unless you have a 3.3 volts uh, device. There are some also Arduinos at 3.3 volts. Uh, the device I'm using is this one. Let me show you this. And uh, um, I used it before on uh, my Arduino and I wanted to see if I was able to use it also with the, with the Beagle one. And uh, so I created a simple um, uh, Java class, I will show you, to test uh, the connection with this device. So let me find it here. So this is a very simple uh, Java class. It uses uh, two other classes that I created. One is to set the uh, multiplex. Mm, if you need it, just leave a comment and I will make it available, but it's very, very simple. Uh, basically what it does is um, it can set uh, the uh, the pins uh, on the on the header. You see, for instance, here I'm using UART2. Uh, I know that there are um, the P9 uh, contact 21 and 22, so I can set the mode. It's mode one. You can check the usual manual for that, and I disable the pull up or pull down resistor because you don't need that for serial communication, and I set one as a receiver. Uh, sorry, this one as a receiver and this one as output because it's the transmit. I'm not using um, um, flow control for this uh, for this test. So basically I just set up uh, the, uh, the multiplex first. Once I'm done with that, I just uh, configure my um, UART port. Um, I'm using this wrapper class that I created but is really plain common plain code using the um, RXTX uh, driver, uh, but I don't need to specify all the parameters in the code. I can put them in a um, config file. So here I'm gonna use the TTY02 uh, at 9600, which is the default uh, uh, configuration also for the device that I'm using for the test. So basically, the class itself does. It's very simple. Uh, well, after the, I create uh, an instance of the class, I do the setup, meaning that I do the multiplex fang, and then and connect to the serial port, and then I just try to send some commands uh, to the WeFly device, and uh, I check if I can get an answer. So let's see if it works. So here, this is the list of the of the serial ports, the UARTs available. Uh, on the uh, um, beagle bone, we are going to use this one. Let's see. Uh, there is a, a slight delay at the initialization, and then here, uh, you see, this is the the device uh, responding. CND means that it entered in common mode with the triple dollar uh, command. And here it responded to my to my comments, and it's giving me the version number and the other information that I requested. So basically, it works. So the the tricky thing was only really, and this is something you need to to be careful with, is was this file GNU IO RXTX dot properties with this line, and you need to place it. Mm, with the old style, meaning that if you're using a pre-compiled jar, you just need to place it in the um, your gire uh, gir e dot e uh, slash x uh, folder, uh, and if you're using the CVS version like I'm doing, uh, you can place it anywhere in the class path, meaning also in the same uh, uh, folder where you're running your uh, test class, and that should this is what I did, and that should work. If you have any question or you want to have some source code, just send me, drop me a comment and uh, I will provide it. Thank you very much. Bye bye.